Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. It is a 20 minute full body workout, including upper and lower body movements. We are moving fast, we are moving hard, but we are gonna get an efficient and fun workout in today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that little notification bell so you never miss a sweat session with me again. And of course, grab a friend, share the video. We all need fitness accountability partners. Let's go. All right, you guys, welcome to today's workout. Like I said, it's a 20 minute full body Tabata workout. We're gonna be doing four sets of Tabatas. Within each Tabata, we have two movements, an upper body and a lower body movement. Each movement is 20 seconds with a 10 second rest, and then we repeat through that four times. I have a little timer, it's gonna help us get it through it. Let's get warmed up though, all right? I'm gonna set my little stopwatch, and we are gonna get moving. Warming up that body. Let's step to the side. Step to the side. Just a little toe taps here. Get that heart rate up. Get the muscles moving. Make sure we are ready to go. Let our body work hard for us today. But in a fun and efficient way. That's why I love Tabata. It can be in a short amount of time, but be really effective and yield really fantastic results. And reach to the side. Reach to the side. Great job. All right. Good work. Good work. Reach up one more time. Kind of slow it down here, but kind of stretching out that side. Nice job. All right. We're moving into butt kicks here. Pulling the toe, the ankle or the heel back towards your, your glutes. Pull and pull. And you're pulling with your arms too. So we're, we're warming up our upper back and the, the back of our shoulders as well. Awesome job. All right, good work. We're gonna work on external and internal hip mobility. So I want you to bring your right knee up, fold it out so you're externally rotating, and switch to the other side. Just like that, good. Two, three, great job. All of us have so many desk jobs, we're on the computer so often, it's really important to make sure we've learned with those hips properly. So we're ready to go for our movements. Stop there, and now do an internal rotation one. There we go. That should be really feeling good. Again, sitting all day can really put a lot of stress in our entire hip complex. So it's important we warm those up. Stop there, we're doing toe kicks. All right, kick, kick. Don't go as high, you don't have to go as high as me. You could even just little do a little tap out, tap out, whatever works for you. All right, tap and tap. Great job, we're in our last minute of our warm up. It goes fast, but we wanna make sure that we are all warmed up. We're gonna do something called an inchworm. Step back to the back of your mat or your living room, wherever you're working out at. Walk your hands down to your toes and walk them out. Stop at a plank and walk them back up. We're warming up our hamstrings, our low back, they're gonna swoop to the, to the ceiling, and come back down. Come back up, roll all the way up. Let's do one more of those. So you're going down, and coming right back up. Ooh. All right, great job. Step it out, I want you to tap it out while as I go through these two explanations of our movements. Our two movements are very basic. We're doing squats and we're doing push-ups. Squats are just a very simple body weight or you can grab dumbbells if you want. We're just sitting back in a chair and standing right back up. Sit back in a chair, standing right back up. As you stand up, push through those heels and squeeze your glutes. Don't tuck your pelvis, just stop right there with squeezing your glutes, okay? Make sure those knees are behind the toes. That's move number one. Next move are push-ups. You can do a full military push-up or come down to your knees and push it up there. All right, your choice today. Those are our two moves. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Grab a sip of water. We are going to our Tabata. All right, like I said, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Gives us a 10 second countdown. All right, get ready. If you wanna grab those dumbbells, now is the time. If not, 
Take your body weight. Here we go. Let's be Panetta. And go. Awesome. There we go. Since it's sh such a short amount of time, it's really good to have a, a timer that's going to count down for you so you don't miss that transition. So we're just doing those squats. Sit back and up. Goes by fast, but we're moving. Awesome. Tap that out. Use this 10 second transition or rest period to get ready for your next move. We got push ups, you guys, and go. This was option one full military push up or come to your knees. Do what works for you. Keep going. Core is nice and tight. Pushing back and up. Great job. 10 second transition, get back to that squat. So again, you can go as low as you want with these squats. Just make sure your knees are not going over your toes. Shift your, your weight back into your heels. You can always just do baby squats too, whatever works for you. This workout is just for you and you can make it for you. Good job. Get your rest in here. Again, push-ups. Let's take it down to the ground. Here we go. As a note, I would rather you go modified push-up, being able to go the full range of motion versus just a little bit here, or protruding your neck forward, okay? So don't underestimate the power of a modified push-up going the full range of motion. There we go. Good rest. You're doing good. I'm already sweating it out. <laughs> Great job. I'm moving with you. Take it to those squats. Again, we're doing body weight. If you have some dumbbells nearby, grab them. Very simple to increase the intensity of a Tabata workout, but also take the intensity down. Great job. Keep it going. Pushing through those heels. Take that break. Heart rate is up. Our muscles are talking to us. Get ready. And go. Good job making sure that core is nice and tight. When you do the modified push-ups, don't leave your tush in the air. Take it with you. It's one unit. Nice and tight. If you're still in military, make sure you're keeping that neck in line with your spine. Great work. Only 10 second rest, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Here we go. Great job. This is the fourth time we're doing squats. So that means it's our last time doing squats. And we'll wrap it up with the push-ups. We'll get that one minute break. So push yourself, heart rate should be high. Great job, do what works for you though. Awesome. Get ready for those last ones. Do the push-ups, the push-up form that works best for you. Let's go. Push yourself and rock and roll. Good work. Again, remember with that military push-up, make sure your neck is not super forward like this. Keep it in line. You can always go back and forth. And there's that beep. Let me start our stopwatch. Make sure we don't go beyond a minute rest. We wanna make the most out of this video and out of this workout. So grab that sip of water. As you guys are resting, I would suggest don't go sitting down. Just tap it out side to side as we are uh, getting our little rest bake and while I explain our next two moves. So the next two moves, you can use a, a dumbbell, whatever a weight you want. Five pounds, eight pounds, 12 pounds, what works for you. First move is reverse lunges. You're stepping back and back up. They're alternating. Right and left, okay? That's your one move. Second move, dumbbells, bicep curl to press. Make sure you're not using momentum, nice and slow, and press. Curl, press, all right? Those are our two moves. 
Hope you guys are ready. Make sure you get that last sip of water. Great job. Let's get back to that Tabata. All right. There we go. All right. And let's go. Get that 10 second transition. So a little bit longer than a minute, but that's all right. All right, get ready for those reverse lunges. Here we go, again, step back and up. Step back and up. Make sure you're not going so far back that you're straining your knee. Just a little step back enough to get your knee behind your toe. Chest up nice and tall, step back. You can always just do a little tap back too. Do what works for you, all right? That's your first move, that's that lower body move. We're doing our upper body move now. Grab your dumbbells, soup cans, dump, or water bottles, whatever you have. You wanna challenge yourself. Great job. Curling and pressing. Curling, press. Awesome job. Make sure you're doing it nice and controlled. Do not swing those dumbbells. Do not arch your back, okay? Nice and tall. All right. Great job. If you did those first reverse lunges, you weren't challenging enough, grab some dumbbells. You wanna challenge yourself. You can also always increase the intensity by adding a little hop here, just like that. You can always increase it like that. Or again, tap back, tap back. Keep it at low impact. This particular workout's really great for low impact because we're not doing any jumping. Keeping the moves basic, foundational, but effective. Curl and press. Awesome job. Curl, press. Awesome work. It's just a little hammer curl, so our hands are, are faced inward. We're pressing up, no rotation of the shoulder or the dumbbell. All right. Put those dumbbells down. I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit. Keep my dumbbells for my reverse lunges. Here we go. Down and up. Chest up, nice and tall. Okay, staying nice and strong as you push up through the heels. That's what's gonna fire those glutes. Make the glutes and the hamstrings work as well, not so much of your quads. All right, hanging on to my dumbbells. Even if you grab three pounds, five pounds, eight pounds, a little bit extra can take it up a notch. Let's go, curl, press. Awesome job. Another reason why I like to do Tabatas that are upper and lower bodies movements is it makes it go really fast. You feel like you're doing so much, but the time goes by really fast. Great job. Hang on to those dumbbells if you upped up your intensity like I did. Let's do those reverse lunges. And go. Lunge back and up. Awesome. Lunge back and up. Woo. Good job. I am breaking a sweat. I imagine you are too. Keep pushing, work hard, work for you. Awesome. We got this, you guys. Nice work. You can just tap it out as you rest. That's all you gotta do. And curl. Last move of this Tabata set. Great job. You're just curling and press. Nice and controlled. Nice and controlled. Good work. Woo. Nice job, you guys. Chin up. Don't slouch those shoulders. And that is the end of Tabata 2. All right, grab that sip of water. I'm gonna reset our stopwatch. Give us that one minute break. Great job, grab some water. I'm gonna get our next moves set up for us, okay? Again, dumbbells for this next one, or body weight, you can just go through the movement, whatever works for you. I'm gonna up it a little bit because it's a deadlift. So deadlift is grab your dumbbells, or just go through the motion. Knees are nice and soft, back is flat, and you're hinging at your hips, okay? We're not rounding our backs, okay? 
Make sure your shoulders are pulled back, squeezing your shoulder blades together and hinging at your hips, pushing through your heels as you come up, keeping your head in line with spine. Next move is tricep kickbacks. So I drop it down just a notch for these. Elbows hit, uh, glued to your waist, pressing back. Pressing back, again, neck in line with your spine. No swinging, really controlled. All right, get that last rest in. Let's get our Tabata ready to roll. All right, I'm gonna give you that 10 second transition. Here we go. Grab your dumbbells for the deadlift. That's what we're doing first, all right? All right, knees nice and soft, hinging at those hips. As you come up, breathe out and make sure your core is nice and tight. So the way I like to imagine it is you're trying to zip up a tight pair of jeans. So that way you are bracing through your entire core. Great job. Next move, switch dumbbells if you need to. If not, just keep the same weight that you have. Hinge up those hips and press, press. Great job, it's just a tiny little bit of a hinge in your hips, no momentum, nice and slow. Hitting the back of those arms, those triceps, nice and strong. Press and press, great job. All right, go ahead and get set up. I know it's a 10 second quote unquote break, but it's really just getting ready for the next move. Knees nice and soft, you guys. Back flat, breathing through that. Zipping up the core as though you're putting on a nice tight pair of jeans. Hinging at the hips. Back is flat. Breathing out as you come up. Great job. Let's go. Press. Press. You don't want to drop your neck. Keep it up nice and Nice and in line with your spine. Form is very, very important. Make sure you mind it and be aware of your body position. Woo. It's just enough to get those muscles talking. All right, as you reach for those dumbbells, especially for those deadlift weights, make sure you're being aware of how you pick them up too. Up and squeeze through those glutes, pushing through those heels. Great job. Up and zip. Great job. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're well over halfway through this workout. So don't forget that. You're like, 60, 65% of the way through, so keep it moving. Great job, pressing back. Nice and controlled, squeezing those triceps as you press it back. Woo, great work. Woo, those next dumbbells are ready. Woo, up and squeeze those glutes. You don't wanna tuck your pelvis, you want to keep it nice and neutral. So just squeezing those buns on the way up. Connecting your core with your glutes as you come up. Great job. Give this last tricep kick back your all. It's your last round of this. You're doing awesome. And go. Hinging at the hips. Your arms are likely talking to you. Doing a great job. Whew. Nice work, you guys. Five seconds, push through it, breathing. Whew. Nice work. That's the signal for that last move. Get some water, I'm gonna set our little timer so we don't go over on our rest break, right? We got things to do, we got places to go. We wanna make the most out of this video and this workout. 
All right, great job. So next move, again, you can do fives, eights, tens, twelves, whatever you want for this, but they are dumbbell rows. So grab a pair of dumbbells, same hip hinge as the triceps kickback, but you're gonna be hinging at your hips, arms kind of fall near your knees, and you're gonna be pulling back, down and back. Really working those rhomboids, the muscles in between your scapula, and you'll be pulling right back. Elbows come straight back towards your rib cage. That's move one. Next move is mountain climber. So you're gonna get down to that plank position. Knees in, knees in. That's option one. Option two is to kind of speed it up. Option three would be to come to your knees and bring your knee in and knee in. So one knee at a time. All right, do what works for you. Let's get this going. All right, we got our Tabata. Let's go, all right? Grab the dumbbell set that works for you. Get ready, all right? Hinge at those hips and dumbbell row. You're breathing out as you pull the dumbbells past your rib cage. Squeezing at the top. Don't need to rush through it. Make sure those muscles are working and doing the work not the gravity or momentum. Great job. Next move, get ready, it's that mountain climber, all right? So, plank here and go. You can take it more of a knee by knee, you can take it up a notch, like that, or you can take it to your option three where you're bringing the knee in. So you bring one knee here and the other knee in that way. There you go. Either, all three options are effective. You just keep moving, all right? Dumbbell rows. Let's go. And squeeze, squeeze. Woo! You're doing it. Great job. More than halfway there on this round. Good work. Three, two, Woo! Great job, we're going back down to the ground. So those mountain climbers, you know your options by now. You know your options. High intensity, middle intention, intensity, and then lower intensity right here. Just like that. Awesome work. Great work, keep going. Woo. All right. This is gonna put us at halfway through this last round. Here we go. Don't stop now. Keep that energy nice and high you've gotten this far. So keep it up. Breathing out as you pull those dumbbells back. Core is nice and tight, don't forget about it. Core is nice and tight. It's all engaged. All right, so zipping up those tight jeans. So you're pulling your belly button back, but also up. And here we go. Keep going. You're doing it. Choose your level. Keep it up, keep it up. There you go. All right, you guys. Whew. Last time with this move, all right? Row it out. I know my back muscles are talking to me. These moves are so good for us, especially for those of us who are at a computer a lot of time. This is working those upper back muscles, upper shoulder muscles as well. To keep our posture nice and strong. All right, give me this last mountain climber all you got. Do the level that works for you, but leave it all out on the table. Let's go. Make sure your tush is not way up in the air. Keep your back flat. Hang in there. Woohoo! And 
there it is. Do not turn this video off. Don't stop moving. Don't get to that couch. Step it back and forth. All right. And get a three minute cool down in. Awesome job. Just as important it is to make sure we increase our heart rate slowly and get our muscles going uh, for our workout. Uh, we also want to make sure that we are cooling down our heart rate slowly or bringing our heart rate down slowly and bringing our uh, our muscles cooling down and stretching as well. So let's uh, stop those feet there. Let's stretch off to the side, reaching for the stars or the skies over here. You're gonna kind of reach through your fingertips. You're gonna feel a stretch through your the side of your, your body and then through your hip complex and hip flexors. So let's hold that for about five seconds or so. Great job, let's reach to the other side. Hold this for another 15 seconds. Awesome job. Way to bring it today. Way to give it your all. You went all in today. Did a full body 20 minute workout, upper body and lower body. So you were efficient and effective today. You're just taking that right arm, swinging it over, bringing that shoulder down and pressing it in. Great job. Nice work. And switch to the other side. Awesome work stretching out the shoulders. We've really worked those with the mountain climbers and the dumbbell rows and the triceps as well. Let's stretch out those triceps. Pat yourself on the back. You're gonna be pulling that elbow in and then towards your head. We'll hold that for about 15 seconds. Woo. Great, great work, you guys. All right. Hold that just for a few more seconds. Chest is up nice and tall. Good work. Switch to the other side so you'll pat yourself on the back with, with your left arm, pulling that elbow in towards your head. All right, I want to give that a nice good stretch. Watch your clock for about 15 seconds, really getting that stretch through. Awesome job. You can kind of sway your hips so you can keep on moving. We'll just do about two more stretches. So hang with me, you guys. Good job. All right, dig that heel into the ground. You're going to hinge at your hips. Glutes go back. Heel digs into the ground, hinging at your hips. You're gonna feel a nice stretch through your calf, and a little bit up through your hamstring. There we go. Good job. We work those hamstrings with those deadlifts. So definitely wanna make sure we stretch those out. Switch to the other side. So right foot is now digging into the ground and stretching through the calf, through the back of the ankle, and through your hamstring. Awesome job. Give me about ten, five more seconds there, hinging at your hips. Good job. Last one, we're just gonna do a quad stretch. So pulling on the, the right ankle or the right top of the foot and pulling it towards your glute and pushing through your hip. If you can, take the opposite arm up. Give it a nice stretch. Hold that for a few more seconds. If you need to, you can always grab onto something for a little bit of balance. Good work. Let's go ahead and switch to that other side. There we go. Great work. Hold it for a few more seconds. Whew. Give it a little bit of a shake there. Great job today. 20 minute full body Tabata workout. Awesome job. Have a great day. Let's check you out at the next workout.